What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kai, and I am back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new here, what's up? My name is Kai, and you are tuning into my YouTube channel, It Must Be Kai. Definitely go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe button before we get right into this video where I'm giving y'all a new natural hairstyle to try out. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be starting off on freshly co-washed hair. If you haven't seen the video where I co-wash my natural hair, definitely check that video out. All I did was use the Quench Leave-In Conditioner by Aunt Jackie just to detangle my hair and section it because when it comes to doing any natural hairstyle, it's just easier to work on sectioned, detangled hair, like especially for me because I have so much hair, but it's easier to work on it that way. So I'm just gonna pin that back section up because we're not gonna need that section for a while and i'm just gonna go ahead and take out the twist of the detangled sections in the front of my hair this um combo is going to be the quench leave-in conditioner and wetline extreme that's it that's all we're using when it comes to a natural hairstyle because i just don't feel like there's a point in using my other high-end or like my expensive my other natural hair products to do a natural hairstyle i just usually go in with a gel just to define the curls and just to make the hairstyle like last longer. So now I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section out my two ponytails. This is a look definitely outside my comfort zone, but I have seen people do it and it has been super duper cute when other people do it. So I was like, let me just try it out, step outside my comfort zone. So the way that I figured out you have to do this is when you're putting the ponytails in your head, don't put them on the side of your head, more so pull them to the back. And so that's what I was really trying to focus on just so it doesn't look, because y'all this was like i said this is way outside my comfort zone i'm 27 years old i didn't want it to look super duper kitty-ish i wanted it to look fun and like cute but not like kitty you know what i'm saying like i didn't want to look like i didn't want to feel like a grown woman with a little girl hairstyle you know what i'm saying like i just didn't want to feel like that so all i did was just um pull these sections back and you know section them out so that I could have control and figure out what I want to do um, as far as, you know, just defining the curls and all that good stuff. So that's all I'm doing right here. Sorry I'm rambling because, I mean, the video is pretty self-explanatory, but y'all know I like to come on here and talk. So I have all my sections done. And so now I'm just about to lay the ponytails down and then put them in the ponytail holders. I'm gonna move these two pieces out of the way. I was debating on these two pieces, but I do think that these two pieces in the front definitely made the look come together. So I'm just gonna pin them just to get them out of the way because we're gonna work with those last and i could not deal with them just hanging in my face while i was trying to work with the rest of my hair so i'm about to put my hair in two ponytails and then we're gonna go to the next step So right here, you can really see what I was just talking about, how when you're making your ponytail, try to pull it to the back and not the side, because when your hair dries, it's gonna look, it's gonna get bigger. So you just wanna pull it to the back so it's not directly on the side of your head, because another good thing about this hairstyle is that it's nice to have your hair out of your face for a little bit. But as you can see, as I'm slicking it back, I'm just trying to make sure to pull it to the back of my head and more so kind of on the top so i'm going for the top and the back rather than the side and it can be a little hard to do because you're really just trying to focus on where you're placing that ponytail and just making sure that it's in the right spot but you still trying to gel it all down at the same time so it definitely took me a minute and a bit of concentration to get this in 
correctly and in the spot that I wanted it to be in because I feel like it definitely made a difference with how the overall look came out because I wanted uh, I just knew that when the hairstyle dried I wanted to be able to see that middle part that sleek front the baby hair I wanted to see all that I didn't want it to be overshadowed by the ponytail hanging over the front inside of my head So y'all can see how that came out. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. So now that we got our two ponytails in, it's time for the fun part, the part where I get to speed through and just apply the Wetline Extreme to the rest of my hair. If you haven't seen me do a Wetline Extreme wash and go, where have you been? You have not been on my channel. You have not been watching my videos because I do a Wetline Extreme wash and go from time to time. Like this combo, the quench and the Wetline Extreme has been in my lineup for a while now and so all i'm doing is just i'm gonna section everything so i did one side of my hair and i'm actually gonna section my ponytails into two pieces just to make sure that all that hair gets fully saturated with that gel and i'm just gonna apply the gel to um, my hair just to define the curls so that we have a really nice wash and go the where our curls be popping because what's it look like this without the curls popping please tell me so i get to speed through this part i'm gonna just let y'all watch while i speed through this and go ahead and apply all this product to my hair and then we will be back Y'all, I thought this was so cool. I was like, I want to do my whole head like that. Um, I don't know if y'all saw it in the beginning where I actually like rolled those two pieces up and just pinned them. And then when I took them out, they was all spirally. I was like, oh my gosh, I should get some mousse and do that to my entire head and see what happens. But that's another, that's another video and another story for another day. But as you can see, um, the style is definitely coming together. And we just gonna continue doing it. I just had to say that real quick when I took my two pieces out and they curled like that. That jump was so cute.
so now we have all our product in the front part of our hair it's looking super cute already i'm loving it but don't forget we got this whole back section of my head to do like <laughs> don't forget about it so i'm gonna go ahead and do the back section of my hair and then i'm gonna come back so i'm back already the back section of my head is done so i was living living right here i was like oh i like how it came out because it actually makes it look like i have two very large long ponytails in the front of my head even though it's only two in the front and then the whole back is down but it's giving exactly what it's supposed to give i did the whole back section the same way i did the front i just untwisted each one and applied that wet line extreme to it only thing that i did that i did not like and i would do differently now is i would not separate those two pieces in the front i don't know why i did that i really should have kept them all together and i'm actually been thinking about twisting them because I wanted the front pieces to lay down because y'all know when our hair dries, the root lifts and I didn't want that root to lift. So I was gelling it down constantly, but then I separated it. So when I come back and show y'all my hair dry, you're going to see, but it doesn't bother me that much, but I just know I want to change it. So I'll probably end up twisting those two front pieces, um, just so they can be a little bit more uniform and stuff like that, but they still laying down, which is, you know, what I mainly wanted. So I'm just going to lay down my baby hair real quick because what's a look with our baby hair? It just adds to the look. Um, I'm going to lay down some of those flyaways and things like that before I even tie it down. Because after I finish doing this, I just tie it down the front part as in the baby hair and like the base of the ponytails. And then I let the rest of my hair just air dry. And so I'm going to let my hair fully dry because... I feel like it's misleading to do this whole hairstyle on here and then not show y'all the product like the finished finished product when my hair is actually dry so i'm just gonna finish laying down my baby hair and so this is the halfway finished look so this is the finished look but it's not the complete look okay so i'm gonna come back and show y'all what my hair looked like when it was fully dry and i'm gonna see y'all when it's finished All right, y'all, so this is the complete look. My hair is fully dry. Um, I did let it air dry throughout the day, so it hasn't had a chance to be pineappled. This is what I was talking about with the two front pieces, how it's kind of like separating, and I can tell what hair is shorter than the other, but I do feel like this look came out super duper cute all together. I have not had, like I said, I hadn't had a chance to sleep with it and pineapple it, so it's actually been stretched since I did this because y'all know like when we just let our hair just air dry, it's gonna shrink completely until we have a chance to pineapple it to where it has a chance to get some length to it and get a little old you know what i'm saying but i still feel like this look came out super cute i got tons of compliments on it as well and i just want to thank y'all so so much for tuning into this video i really hope y'all enjoyed another natural hairstyle from me Thanks for watching me step outside my comfort zone because y'all know I don't do this often, but I'd be happy when I step outside my comfort zone and the look works in my favor. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Please, please, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.